On tracking your tax dollars, Pitt Community College is expanding its facilities while also saving you money. Back in 2013, Pitt County taxpayers voted in favor of a nearly $20 million bond referendum to go toward improvements for Pitt Community College. There's more than $2 million of your borrowed money left over, and commissioners are deciding how to spend it. WNCT's Kelly Byrne is live from PCC with more on those plans. Kelly. That's right. The new changes to the referendum not only allow for new science and law enforcement buildings, they'll also allow for a permanent structure to be built for the early college high school program, which is currently housed in this trailer behind me. And I will not vote for it. Heated debate at the Pitt County Commissioner's meeting regarding $2.6 million in excess funds from the 2013 bond referendum. Commissioners ultimately voted 6 to 3, allowing the money to be used to build a permanent structure for the early college high school on Pitt Community College's campus. The excess money was generated from a combination of two things. So because of interest, favorable interest rates, and the amount of yield that we were able to generate from the bonds, uh, that combination of the lower construction cost and the favorable con condition of the market is what generated the 2.6 in excess proceeds. This also leads to a lower tax increase, decreasing it to a projected 1.41 cents. Although building a new structure won't cost taxpayers additional money, some county commissioners felt the excess funds shouldn't have gone to the early college high school. Well, it should be used, in my opinion, to pay down, pay down that debt. It should go back against the, the principal that we have and go ahead and cut a few years off of that loan that we've taken out on the taxpayers. Commissioner Glenn Webb argues because the money was not originally allocated for the additional building, it shouldn't be used to construct the permanent structure or it should have gone before voters first. Financial Director Dwayne Holder says although taxpayers didn't vote for the additional building, this is legal. Language that the voters voted for uh, spoke to various community college facilities. And so in this case, from a legal standpoint, any uh, facilities on that campus uh, would be legally allowed for these proceeds to be used for. And Pitt Community College hopes to break ground later this year and move students in by the fall of 2017. Live in Winterville, Kelly Byrne, 9 on your side.